exquisite. Alrighty, appreciate you tuning in. So today, what we're going to be working on is how to improve your photo editing in five easy steps. Essentially, this is the process that I use on every uh, photo edit that I do, um, and it kind of just breaks down into five steps. So it's your choice whether you want to implement it or not. Uh, that's just what kind of has success for me, and uh, maybe you can kind of tweak a couple things and develop your own style. So. Just moving from here, um, this is the image that we're going to be using today. This is the image that I took. Perfect. Alrighty, so the first thing that I want to make clear, the first step, the first number one important rule is you have to make sure that you're shooting in RAW. There's a setting inside your camera, in most cameras, that you can go in and choose whether you want to shoot in JPEG or if you want to shoot in RAW plus JPEG. You want to shoot in RAW plus JPEG. You really only want to edit your RAWs. Um, you can stop at the raw editing, but if you do that, you're really just doing yourself a disadvantage because there's so much more editing that you can get out of it, out of a photo, and uh, just so many different ways to make it look better. So, we're going to create our background copy layer. That's number two. All right. Number three, we're going to create our curves layer for brightness. And then we're going to control I to invert it. Take our brush tool. And then with the low uh, opacity, I usually do around like 50, 53. Um, just paint over the different areas of, uh, of her highlights, where she's experiencing natural highlight from the sun or from whatever lights in the, the room or whatever. We'll get the lips, the bottom lip, and you want to get the eyeballs, but you don't want to get the actual eyes like the lids, I should clarify, the lids, perfect. All right, so anywhere there's a highlight, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit with a little bit of a highlight. Looks like on top of the pants here, maybe at the edge of this jacket. All right, perfect. Now, what I'm gonna do, create another curves layer. This time, this curve layer is gonna be we're going to lower this a little bit. That's going to be for darkness, the shadows. Number one, what I always do when I create the shadow curve layer is I go straight for underneath the chin. If you go under the chin, it defines the face so much more. It just makes the, the photo look that much more high quality. It makes it look that much more cinematic, too, if you pair it up with the right um, partner effects. Right. So now what I'm going to do is go to Selective Coloring. And you got your reds, yellows, greens, um, cyans, blues, so forth, forth. Um, basically, I'm gonna go through reds, yellows, and magentas is what's popping out to me on this one. So the reds, I'm just gonna kind of play with, um, you know, bring out a certain type of tone that I'm looking for. The magenta, I'll raise it a little bit in the red. The yellow. The yellow and the red I'll raise just a little bit. Then I'll move on to the yellow. And you see when I you lower it and it makes it a lot more warmer, but you raise it and it just brings out a lot of nice contrast underneath your chin and whatnot. So I think I'm gonna raise it. Keep it raised. I'm gonna Go ahead and uh, raise the magenta level and the yellow too, just a little bit. Give it a nice amber color, a nice amber tone. Raise the yellows just a little bit as well. And then we're on to the magentas because you see the magenta here. It's kind of, uh, it doesn't really fit with the overall colors that are present in the rest of the photo. So what I'm gonna do is try and make them a little bit more Fitting, lower that, let's see, raise the magenta level, perfect, yeah, and then we're going to raise the yellow level as well. So then we kind of got a nice little amber tone on those as well, they fit, perfect, beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous. Right here really you could stop, um, but a little secret that I have is if you actually create an exposure layer. Raise your offset a little bit, or at least this is what I do. 
raise my offset a little bit to whatever I like, and then I'll counteract it with some gamma correction. I find I'll be able to create a nice, like, cinematic, hazy, like, silky looking photo. And that's what we got. Perfect. So, just to recap, this has been one, two, three, four, five, about five steps. Um, it hasn't been too much to take in. I think you get, each and every one of you should be able to implement these and see great success and improvements. Um, honestly, immediately. Like if you follow the video step by step and just play with it and see your own vision, but also keep this information to use, I mean, I think you'll improve greatly. So that's my point of view on things. Um, I definitely appreciate you guys tuning in today and I'll see you on the next one.